Hey team, here we are down the river and today I'm going to talk about one of my favourite rivers, the Rakaia. Rakaia is based about one hour south of Christchurch and it actually flows all the way from the Southern Alps, 150 k's to the Pacific Ocean. So the Rakaia River flows at about 200 cumex, but it's got such a big catchment that during the Northwest, river levels rise really quickly to about 5,000 cumex. The river is about a k wide, which makes it awesome for jet boating because it's so braided. Plenty of activities to do down here. You got jet boating, getting stuck, pushing, fishing, standing on the riverbank, trying to fish, four wheel driving, skipping stones. If you're going to head down to the Rakai and you've never been, check out the fish and game map. Some really good access points starting at the lagoon. You've got a really nice boat ramp down there. A lot of jet boaters will launch just downstream from State Highway 1. If you're looking to start upstream, you can always launch at the Rakai Gorge. From there, you get a really nice gorge with high cliffs for about 5Ks and then it braids out again and you get some really cool scenery up the Matthias and into the Wilberforce. Now, Rakai's always been known for its salmon fisheries, so much so they put a big salmon statue in the middle of their town. You'll see a lot of fishermen down at the mouth, and then you're going to start seeing fishermen come further upstream as the salmon migrate. It's a long way from the mouth to gorge if you're recreational boating, so take a lot of fuel. You might see those jet boat racers doing it in about 25 minutes, so they're hauling ass. They're doing about 240 k's an hour. So thanks guys, that's the Rakai River. If you haven't been here, make sure you get down here. If you have, you already know all about it, so you'll be loving it just like I am.